All right, welcome back now to the KFYR Plus News Desk. And owning a home is the American dream, but not fully understanding how the process works can turn it into a financial nightmare for some first-time home buyers. So what do home buyers need to know about the process to save money? Sarita Battles, head of the Community Affordable Lending at Chase, joins us live from Florida. Welcome, Sarita. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Thank you for having me. You got it. Well, Sarita, let's start with some common hidden costs that first-time buyers maybe often overlook. Yes, I would tell you that first-time home buyers often step into this process thinking about rate and thinking about down payment only. Mm -hmm. um, but there are other fees that are associated with purchasing a home that they need to be aware of. Those fees are application fee, processing fee, appraisal fee, homeowner's insurance, title insurance, and even inspection fees. Oftentimes they're not thinking about those particular fees as part of their closing costs, but they, they are costs that are typically unavoidable. And so with that, it is necessary to make sure that you are aware of those fees, but then also aware of those fees that you may be able to negotiate. And some of those fees that you're able to negotiate are fees such as uh, the home buyer insurance, title insurance, those are typically negotiable, so you can go out and shop around for the best fees related to that. In addition to that, you have your application fee, and then you also have your processing fee. Those are fees that are typically charged by the bank or the lender of your choice. And so, therefore, those fees can also be negotiated. Um, and so, therefore, I always uh, would share with first-time home buyers to make sure that they're shopping around, talking to their local bank, because a lot of those banks and or lenders may have down payment assistance programs that can help you um, really actually help you um, minimize those fees and in some cases waive those fees. So it's always good to kind of start off by talking with your local bank or lender about the fees associated with the home buying process. Sarita, I could have used your help uh, five years ago when I bought my first home in 2019, but uh, I'm glad we're here helping some folks uh, right now. Let's uh, tell uh, the viewers, what are some of the most helpful tips that you can uh, use for first-time home buyers looking to get into the market? Yes. The first tip I would give is that you do not have to do this or participate in this process alone. Definitely leverage subject matter experts that are very familiar with this process and can help you navigate that. And those subject matter experts are making sure that you're working with your local bank or the bank that you have a relationship with and or a lender as well as a realtor. Make sure that you have a team or a squad around you to help you navigate this home buying process. Here is what they can do for you. Number one, they can help you qualify. And so at the end of the day, oftentimes we make assumptions around our qualifications, whether or not our credit score is right or our debt to income ratio is the right debt to income ratio. But I will tell you that your lender or your bank can help you understand what you need in order to qualify for that home and to make sure that you meet those specific needs. In addition to that, they can help make sure that you're pre-approved um, before you go out there and begin the process of finding a home. Most often when you're pre-approved, when you go before that seller, that seller is eager to sell you that home because they know that the process is gonna be more efficient and more effective and they can sell that home pretty quickly when they know that you're pre-approved. And then the last thing that I would say is just don't forget to make sure that you surround yourself with this team, understanding that you do not have to enter this process alone. Most often we start the process alone and we think that it's hard and it's cumbersome, so on and so forth, and we give up on the process. When you have a team around you, you're gonna have a team that's gonna support you in your quest and in your desire um, to attain the dream of home ownership. Mm -hmm. Preparation is key. What resources are available to help home buyers navigate this process and avoid uh, some of those surprising costs that you mentioned? Yes, there are a lot of tools and resources that are available um, and most of those tools and resources are available online. So you can start that research and that navigation process on your own. And here's the deal. Those tools and resources are typically free of charge. And so therefore, I, I often say this, 
Um, if you visit us on chase.com forward slash afford, there are lots of tools and resources that are free of charge for you to be able to leverage. Some of those tools are consistent with an affordability calculator where you can go in and actually look at how much home you can afford based on your down payment. You'll be able to see uh, what your monthly payment would be like so that you can budget, budget appropriately. In addition to that, we also have um, tools that are consistent of your um, down payment assistance program. And so therefore, we have a home buyer assistance finder that can help you identify down payment assistance programs that are available in your area that can enable you to be able to lower that cost and make that home more affor affordable. And last but definitely not least, it's always good to watch videos and listen to podcasts of individuals that have gone through the process. So to be able to hear those testimony, testimonials from them is extremely encouraging to the one that's out there seeking to buy a home. So again, make sure that you leverage those tools and resources. They are free of cost, and all of them are available online. Okay. Uh, Two-part question here for you, Sarita. Oh, one, the Fed is looking to lower the interest rate coming up next month. That'll lead us into fall. Is there any benefit to buying in the fall versus uh, any other time of year? I like to think so. Um, and the reason I say this is because typically during the fall and winter months, it's less competitive. Most people are out during the spring and summer months, I guess because the sun is out and they feel really good, the kids are out of school, and everybody mm -hmm. is around shopping for homes. But during the fall and winter months when the kids are back in school, when it's less competitive, these are the times where sellers are eager to sell. And so again, these are opportunities where you may even have an opportunity to even get a good deal on a home because those sellers are eager to sell during those fall and winter months. And then the last thing that I will say, and probably the most important, um, if you're financially prepared, there's always a good time to buy. No matter the season or the rate environment, it's always a good time for you to purchase a home. Where can we find the information that we've uh, talked uh, about here, Sarita? Please visit us on chase.com forward slash afford. All right, Sarita Battles with uh, Chase. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time and your expertise on this. Uh, have yourself a great afternoon, all right? You too. Thank you. You got it. All right, nine minutes after the top of the hour here at the KFYR Plus News Desk. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with a look at your local news headlines next on KFYR Plus.